you guys made it work. And it was one less thing that we had to worry about every day because you guys were the ones that were effectuating it. And, uh, and I think the reward is going to be coming back in September to that brand new facility. So mm -hmm. I want to thank you and all of the parents that, uh, that you were extraordinary in the cooperation with you. I just wanted to second that, but I also want to extend thanks to the parents throughout the entire community because while you probably <coughs> had the uh, biggest change to deal with in shipping your kids, you know, two towns away, everybody had to had to put something into this game here with whether it be start times or stop times or a lot of a lot of different things that I think all the parents in the community um, after <coughs> maybe a, a, a few weeks of concerns about this and that, I think everybody got together, got on the same page and said this is the best way to do it. The school's going to be ready in two years, right, Jerry? And, uh, Absolutely. And, <laughs> and, and, and I think everybody chipped in. So I, I think the whole community has um, played a, a big role in this, led by the batch parents and the administration. So I'm thank all of you. Of course, the work isn't over yet. Correct. There's still two more true. things <laughs> that need to be taken care of. I'm not dancing yet. <laughs> so can we have a motion for something? So move. Second. Second. Thank you. Good luck with your dick on. He's the best of all. my turn. There are other things we can put first, Dick. Here's that pick on you, huh? Okay. I'll save the best for last. You came back from Washington to the one piece. Yes. Actually, the kids came back in better shape. I, uh, I came up lame around uh, Monday and Tuesday, and my back went out Wednesday. And uh, so the kids were having a good time. They uh, actually, the kids, the kids were terrific. The kids were absolutely terrific. Um, I'm also pleased as a. Uh, it looks like our uh, capacity to raise money has increased now that we have. Uh, Sean here as a tenant. We have the business department, the superintendent's department, and we will now be housing uh, uh, Sean Colleen and uh, his secretary. So we're we're pleased that uh, those uh, rental bills will be going out. Yes, and all you have to do is provide supplies. Yeah. In some space under a steel. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Or in a closet. Yeah. Okay. Um, good evening. This is. I'm going to be as brief as I possibly can, which sometimes is miraculous. The I would two of our members. One is in uh, New York, and the, uh, we have another member coming back from California. And I didn't have the heart to ask uh, Mrs. Wise, who worked all day today, to uh, come this evening as well. Um, but you can see a series of topics. One of the topics that stood out. Um, and really we gave uh, pretty ample time to was myspace.com and the ups and downs. I've spent uh, literally hours on MySpace. Uh, there's some actually some very delightful and appropriate, uh, but I have to tell you that's a minority. Uh, the vast majority of what's going on, not only in this town, I've also checked in my own town, uh, is incredibly inappropriate, and uh, I would encourage parents to continue to uh, be on top of that. Uh, the Secondary School Building Committee reports, every time we had a meeting, I shared the uh, uh, minutes and results of the conversations. Uh, health and wellness, uh, we extended that even into lunches. Uh, in fact, we have a better uh, dough or a healthier dough. We also noticed a slight dip in sales. Yes. <laughs> but uh, when we were talking five years ago about removing sodas and some of the power aids and things out, water wasn't quite as cool as it is right now. So I'm going to be yeah. I'm going to be patient on this. And when some of these healthier foods become uh, cooler to middle school kids, I I think we're going to be taking right off again. On the curriculum, these are accomplished goals. Uh, foreign language was introduced into the seventh grade. We feel that we have a, a good foot in the door on that for two days a week. We would certainly love to expand that to three. Uh, an eighth grade health and wellness program was reinstated. Uh, that's another foot in the door, and we are 
proposing uh, to increase that. It's certainly the challenges, and I'm talking to the choir here, the challenges of a level funded budget for next year uh, put us in a situation that um, it's, a, it's, a, it's similar to a treadmill. We know we're still working hard, but we also know we're right where we started uh, in some cases. The climate and safety, I'm pleased to, to uh, say that 99%, I believe, out of 640 students, we only have three families in the school that uh, do not have internet services. So we actually were able to use our email uh, much, much more effectively. And I think we will probably, um, after four years, we are probably going to be at an all-time efficiency level. We've hired um, uh, another secretary uh, to, uh, to replace Mrs. Bookwall. And so this is actually the first time in four years that we have had uh, both secretaries uh, going at a full-time clip. So we're, we're really looking to be uh, much more efficient I'm looking to do much less secretarial work, as is everyone else. Um, we also have introduced the pancake breakfast. Uh, I give a lot of credit to our parent associ association, which is a very, very hardworking and diligent group of parents. Um, our pancake breakfast, the, past, the pasta dinner, the craft fair, uh, a lot of this overlaps the parent involvement part of our professional um, the parent involvement uh, part of the improvement. We're looking for uh, families getting together and putting a smile on their face and doing some things um, that we really enjoy. Uh, we certainly practice an emergency lockdown this year. Our canine search uh, produced uh, anxiety and relief, sometimes all in the same 5, 10, 15 minutes. Technology, uh, just a statement that we will continue to move on, but I think it's fair to say with the loss now of Dave Elliott and Hillman Barney, uh, the, between the five schools, there's a level playing field. Uh, we have been well served for decades and actually have been a leader to the district, uh, but certainly to the uh, middle school because of those two men, and they are going to be very, very missed, and we're going to have to be very, very creative how we're going to use other people's energies and times to supplement that. Uh, I've already mentioned that on the professional development line, funding may be a challenge because the teachers appreciate, look forward to the professional development, um, but I don't know. The rest of the world still seems to increase prices, whether it's gasoline or course, courses, workshops, that the rest of the world seems to move on. School culture. Uh, community members together. Uh, one, I, there's a number of things that bring people together, in particular our chorus and band concerts. Uh, very often we're able to almost pack the high school. Um, we're almost able to pa uh, pack out the high school auditorium. The spring musical, again, our uh, various affairs with the pancake breakfast, pasta dinner. Seems that eating seems to be a favorite theme at the uh, middle school. The advisor advisee uh, program, um, I'm going to talk about that uh, the next time I probably come in with the school handbook. I'm going to also give you an update about how this year has gone with the new schedule, some of the programs, what's worked, what needs to be tweaked a little bit more. One of the uh, areas, just to give you a little bit of foreshadowing, we're looking to uh, slightly change still under advisor advisee, but probably differentiate the eighth grade program and make them a little bit more responsible for the topics and some of the projects. Uh, and I'll give you some more specifics uh, on that. We Actually, there's a uh, program out in Attleboro that we're looking at, uh, and I'll bring in one of our teachers who taught there to talk a little bit more about that from a first-hand basis. Uh, we have provided uh, an orientation night for fifth grade parents, uh, and the last two years we have also provided, uh, in a more intimate setting, uh, a fifth grade parent night whose children have IEPs. It's a, uh, a great opportunity to answer a lot of questions that maybe people would not feel as comfortable to be asking, um, and it's just something that's had a very, very positive outcome. Communication practices, we, uh, 
we actually we're always trying to create something that's better. We're always becoming, and I don't think that this is an area that we should ever feel that we really arrive. So that's something that uh, we will continue to uh, work on. Budget, middle school staff and space. If there are two things or two flags or banners we would like to uh, raise uh, in this report is the middle school staff in space. And again, I'm preaching to the choir. I know how supportive you are. I know exactly what you would like to do and what you would like to embrace. But I'd like to remind you that in the areas of math, science, social studies, and English, the middle school has not hired additional staff in those four substantive areas in over two and a half decades. Uh, and space, we now, uh, we have gone from a class of 207, uh, which will be next year's seventh grade class. We will be taking in, I believe the figures I checked today were 220 coming in on the sixth grade, also 220 on the eighth grade. Those are two of our largest groups that we will eventually be sending to the uh, high school. And I understand that there is a 250 plus group entering the fifth grade. So we're a couple years away uh, in our conversations about additional mods. And one of the reasons, well, actually, I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to the facility. Uh, I didn't go into a great uh, detail because I think we're still a little spread out on uh, some of the options that we have. But do, uh, do not take any brevity in that area as a lack of passion about renovation addition uh, to the uh, middle school. Now to the goals. In the area of uh, curriculum and organizational goals, we would uh, like to, to continue to expand our foreign language program. We do need a 1.0 additional teacher and additional uh, textbooks as well. And this year, one of the things we're planning on doing, our textbooks are pretty outdated, so we're probably going to be looking at and researching uh, from a number of companies and publications um, take a look at new textbooks. We do not have money for new textbooks, but I think that we can set the groundwork, do the research, and then project uh, in another budget. I'm talking about French and Spanish, foreign language. Yeah, foreign language. Uh, also, uh, in order to expand our health program, we certainly could use an additional uh, teacher there. Uh, right now, our health program, and we're delighted to have it back, but we certainly cannot use the word comprehensive. Our eighth grade students are experiencing health twice a month. That's every other week. We're grateful for that, uh, but we think we really need to uh, expand that health and wellness uh, program. In terms of climate and safety, Mr. Hardacker has received some estimates regarding the surveillance cameras and technology. I know that's something we're not going to be able to move forward. Uh, in a level funded budget, but that's something we're not going to take our eyes off for the future. Technology. Um, high school, I believe, was the first people that have been introduced to Ednets. And I think we're looking forward to, this is offering us some new horizons. Uh, and I think we're kind of excited. I, I don't know what we're excited about because we haven't done it before. But it is something new, and it looks like it's very creative, and it's something that the whole town can benefit, not just uh, the, the, the school families uh, as well. Uh, professional development. Now, in the five years that I've been here, we've actually grown leaps and bounds in inclusion. But I have to say, I do not believe we are where we need to be in the co-teaching. And that's where the regular ed teacher gives up the chalk to the special educator and they start being partners uh, instead of just someone over there cueing someone and someone getting someone to open their assignment notebook. Um, we have some teachers that are doing, that's expanding as we speak, uh, who are doing a wonderful job in the co-teaching, but uh, I have to admit we're not there uh, and that's a uh, primary goal in the professional development uh, for me in the middle school this year. School culture is always um, something that we take a lot of pride in. We like to think that we're user friendly, the building is user friendly. Uh, parent involvement, uh, again, just another comment.